Joseph Zeiger, second place in the discus here at the state meet with uh, 140, over 144 feet yesterday. What's that mean to you to be a silver medalist here at this place? Uh, that's that's pretty cool. I, d I didn't expect uh, throwing a 144 to get that here. I thought there'd be a lot, a few better distances than that, but it kind of took me by surprise because it wasn't was one of my work. Um, I guess not my best throw as a leader, but it's just cool, cool being in second and all that. So. Tell us about each one of your throws and which one was at 144. Uh, now I gotta think back here. Uh, the first, first one was uh, they're all they're all within 140s, but there's one throw that's like 138, and um, I think my third th my third throw um, before the finals was my 144, and uh, the rest of them around 140s, and then there's one that's like well upper 130s, but so. Were you kind of sweating it out, seeing how you were going to stack up, or were you, I mean, at what point did you get into second? Um, I, I really didn't know what uh, place I was in going into finals. I was just, like, trying to focus on me throwing. So it, I came into finals uh, second, and um, and from there I just kind of kept it. Um, a lot of people got really close to breaking 144, but I, I guess I wasn't worried too much. I was just trying to focus on throwing better, so... You've been, uh, well, you're the school record holder in that event. You've been to the Drake Relays. You've got a ninth place and a second place finish at state. So what what accomplishment out of the discus in your career is kind of like number one for you? I think going to Drake was just really, that was, a, that was a big goal I had at the start of the year. And ever since I was a freshman, I thought that'd be cool to go to Drake. And uh, I guess I did that this year. So that was really cool just being there. And also just being able to go to state the three years is that's pretty awesome too. It's just cool. It's just a uh, good time being here around all the good throwers and especially Drake. How'd the schedule work out with running the distance medley and getting back? Was that difficult to get your throws in? Um, it worked out better than last year. Last year I had the same schedule. Um, I, I right after sprint medley, I just I mean distance medley I ran over and um, I, I got some warm ups, but yeah, it worked out better than I thought it would. So I was just tired, but yeah. What brings you more of an adrenaline rush, throwing at state or running at state? Probably running, just because you're like everybody in the stands is watching you, and you you know they are. So I guess probably running for me. I'm more I'm used to throwing. I've been throwing a lot, and I guess running's a whole different thing when you have a whole stadium surrounding a track. So. And you've got one more running event coming up today, but uh, can you believe your throwing career has come to an end? Yeah, it's kind of weird to think about. And on the third throw of the finals, I I was like, wow, this is going to be my last throw, which I probably shouldn't have thought of that because it kind of psyched myself out. But it was like, just at that moment, I was like, oh, that's pretty crazy. And it's still, kind of, yeah, it's just hard to think about. But. How about that distance medley? is knocked out, what, six or seven seconds yesterday. Yeah, that was, that was really cool for us. Um, Cade and Jackson, Cade Jensen and Jackson uh, had, both had uh, – their best splits of the year and that was just really cool and it really comes down to the 800 and the 400. We got the the one and the twos but those, those longer distances were really cool and they, they sh shaved off some time of that so that was, yeah, we ran our best time. What's your expectation in the sprint medley today? We all have high expectations going into it. We, come, we came in 10th and we want to drop a few places at least and um, Kate I know Kate's gonna run good in the 400, and uh, hopefully the rest of the rest of us can really get a good time in and set a good time up on the board. So, between uh, football and track and field, you've had a ton of impressive accomplishments in high school, but uh, a lot bigger things in your future. We know. So, what's lined up for you next? I'm planning on throwing in college. Um, I'm not for sure where. Yeah, I've got some uh, place narrowed down. I just haven't committed yet. Um, but I'm really excited for that to get a throwing coach and um, just get to college and uh, have good different experiences there. So, right, thanks for your time. Yeah, thank you.